Hello my friends and welcome back to the Vid Media channel. In the last video, we have done the basic setup for the front end and been able to get data of the chain list from the API. Today, we will display the chain list in the carousel style and we will use React Slick library. Okay, let's get started. First, I need to repair some data to make them presentable. Just want to add some more change data. And let's run the get change query. And we have a list of chains. Let's go back to the code editor and we will open the change component. Let's import some components from Undesign. And we use Kite. And let's bring the meter from kite and in the return function we will render the chain list And we put the card component. The K would be the chain ID. The cover would be the image. The source would be the image view. And we have on click function. That would be on chain. I would put the um, chain ID here. So the on chain will be from the box. I will bring on change from box and we will define it later. We need to close the image tag. And then I put a meter here. The title would be the James name. Now let's save the file and go back to the web browser. Okay, and the chain list is displayed with the image and the change name. And now let's 
just for React Link component. We will click on the, the first result and click, click on documents and copy this command and we open the code editor and let's go to the client and we paste the command to install the React Lake component and we also need to include the CSS let's copy this command and run it after that I go back to the web browser and copy the import CSS we will paste here and save it and after that we import slider from react slick and let's open the web browser again we will need some the initial setting for the react slick let's copy this setting and paste here and in the return section we will replace the deep tag with the slider and we put the set setting here let's save the file and we go back to the web browser model not file cannot resolve sleep file so Okay, let's go back to the code editor. We need to remove it to the and let's also change the slide, the number of slides to show here. We get this four. The slide to scroll is just one. And save it. Let's go back here. Perfect. And now we go to the code editor again. I will create a new file, star CLS. Let's include some star here. We will display the, um, the next add the reverse button. Let's save this file and we will open the app. The JS file. Let's grab the chain component in the class. App wrapper. And let's import the um, the star CSS file and save it. We go back to the web browser and we see the style has been applied. We can see the previous and the next button here. But we need to make the slide indicator a different color so that we can see it. I go to the gym and we include the custom paging.
then we save it so we can see the indicator here and let's see if it's responsive so I want to make the slide here responsive we need to go to the document and we will see some example I click on responsive and we will copy this setting for responsive and we have to and we pass here if the breakpoint is 1024 the slide to show is 3 slide to throw is 3 the breakpoint is 600 just one one okay we save it and go back to the web browser so we can see now on the mobile device just display one item and let's select iPad here so we have three items okay okay let's get it packed so we have done the um, carousel component for the chain list and in the next video we will continue with the cross functionality for the movie thank you for watching and see you in the next video